When I cried to the Lord, he heard my voice. He rescued me from those who attacked me. Entrust your cares to the Lord, and he will support you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Prompt our actions with your inspiration, we pray, O Lord, and further them with your constant help, that all we do may always begin from you, and by you be brought to completion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving him and walking in his ways, and keeping his commandments, statutes, and decrees, you will live and grow numerous, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods. I tell you now that you will certainly perish and you will not have a long life. On the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter to occupy, I call heaven and earth today to witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God heeding his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord swore he would give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial psalm, blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope. Bless the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade, whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed, not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed, Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, 
and on the third day be raised. Then he said to all, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me. Whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will save it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world, yet lose or forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Gospel reminds us that if we want to follow in the Lord's teaching, if you want to be students, which is that way of following after someone in that ancient tradition to say that the master would be up in front and students would follow learning from them in that way of trying to walk as a master walks or remember those things that the master would have said. We need to follow that same path by taking up our cross and daily and following the Lord. During this Lenten season and through that choosing of the cross, we're able to, in a sense, become stronger because we're able to say, I know I can do without this, I know I can do without that, or I know I'm able to give this or do that or give that in those aspects. That it allows us that opportunity for our Lord, the cross itself was that way of our salvation, it was that way of bringing us to that light and love of the Lord and even greater way than before. It's a little different for us because the way of the cross was one that led to death for our Lord and our salvation, but for us it is a similar way that leads to our salvation, but also it leads to that great unity to the Lord. And so we choose that during this Lenten season of different disciplines in our life. We choose to take up that cross daily, especially during this season, but it continues past this season as well. And we are able to choose those little parts of our life to say, am I doing this too much so I should refrain from it? Or is that causing problems? Or is that a time waste or whatever it might be to see how we are able to grow closer to the Lord each and every day. So let's continue to pray now and always, especially during this Lenten season, that we might choose that cross that we take up daily so that we might follow the Lord more closely. My dear sisters and brothers, ready to follow the Messiah where he leads, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For those who share faith in Jesus as the Messiah, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who proclaim to others Christ's good news, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who take up Christ's cross in pursuit of justice and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who deny themselves to serve oppressed and forgotten, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who share the Son of Man's suffering and sickness, grief, and pain, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for John Viva, as well as for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hope to be raised with Christ on the third day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions. For the end of abortion in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick in the parish, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For these prayers and prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the prophets, you sent your anointed not to rule but to suffer, that all might be saved. Increase our faith in the Son of Man. May we be ready to take up the cross and follow Jesus, and so come at last to share his glory. For Christ lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be your Just one more line, Commissioner Vinci of Christ, to humble himself, sharing our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed are you, Lord God. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Regard with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings we set upon the sacred altar, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblation may give honor to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up the hearts of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it's right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to be thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of this. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul VI, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Then not in our sins by the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Create a pure heart for me, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. Let us pray. Having received the blessings of your heavenly gifts, we humbly beseech you, Almighty God, that they may always be for us a source both of pardon and of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Almighty God, who have known, who have made known to your people the ways of eternal life, lead them by that path we pray. To you, the unfading light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Together, let's pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, our world, and of our community. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Dear, let's pray for our mother mothers. Mother of mothers, Holy Queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. For Mary, my mother, who in your maternity have so sanctified the state of holy motherhood, imploring thee, I come to you. Humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your all-powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in me I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands, betray now my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid, dear Mother of Mothers. Amen. Mother of Mothers. Pray for us. 